Welcome back guys, because I can gaming and today Rockstar put out a few patches but surprisingly this solo card duplication glitch is still working. So if you're unfamiliar with it guys, I'm going to walk you through it. We're going to use the fast uh, travel method, make things a little faster for you guys. And you can dupe a car every three minutes roughly and you can make yourself some large cash. So what you're going to need is you need to be in a free aim session. It's 100% solo. You need to have an LG RH8 inside your arcade. As you see, I'm in my arcade right now. And then we are going to go on with it. So you need to have a bunker. You need to have an MOC in your bunker that needs to have vehicle storage. If you can't save a car in it, it's because you have a workshop and not storage. And that is the reason why you can't do it. Another thing you need to have inside the MOC is the car you're going to duplicate. I suggest using an arena car or a Benny's car. If you guys duplicate your uh, T20, you could sell the original one. But anything after that, the price is going to go down. Same goes with the Luxo Mark II oppressors, things like that, guys. So... Instead of leaving comments why your thing only sold for 50000 or you can't sell your car, it's because you didn't duplicate the right car. So these are clean dupes, which means it is a merge glitch. We're merging the plate from the RH8 onto our duplicate, so you don't have to worry about being dupe detected. So what you're going to need to do, guys, is we're going to start off. I'm going to fast travel over to my bunker, and I'm going to walk you through this. So first thing you want to do is go inside your bunker. We're going to make our way over to our MOC and we are going to pull out the car we're going to duplicate. So like I said, the car you want to duplicate has to be inside your MOC. If it's not in right now, just go outside, guys, call it in and drive it in your bunker and stick it in your MOC. At no given time, guys, as soon as you start to do this glitch, do not call out any personal vehicle. Your car you're going to duplicate is going to disappear, and then you have to restart the glitch. Same goes for, like, bikes airplanes, anything that's going to take your car off the map. So if you don't know how to fast travel, which I will show you in this video, if you have no one to fast travel with, then you can register as a CEO and just call in a CEO helicopter and go that way, your buzzard, and go back and forth that way. Rinse and repeating is super easy, guys. I'll show you towards the end. So you're going to pull out your car you're going to duplicate. I'm using my Izzy. I'm going to pull off to the right here. I'm just going to jump out of my car and I'm going to run outside. So we're going to leave it right here out of the way. This just gets it out of the parking spot, and this is where it usually stays 9 times out of 10. So I go outside, guys, and I'm going to show you guys how to fast travel. If you're unfamiliar with fast traveling, like I already said, I'm in a free aim lobby. So if I start up any random job on the map, and then I join a friend in a different targeting mode, if I back out, it will fast travel me to that spot of the job that I tried to start. So I'll show you right here. Um, all you do is hit pause. You're going to go to the map. As you see, I just showed you I'm in free aim. And then you're just going to go down to your arcade, and you're going to just select a job close to your arcade. So I have one right here. You're going to hit X to start the job on Xbox. You can host it. doesn't matter how it works. You're going to host a job, and you're going to wait till you load up into the menu of the job. Now, when I hit pause, unfortunately, it messed up me loading in. So I'll do it one more time. You're just going to hit pause. You're going to go to the map. You're going to select the job closest to your arcade, and you're going to accept it. If it asks you to host it, just host it, guys. It's not that big of a deal. Once you load into the main menu of the job, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the uh, Xbox or PlayStation button, and we are going to join a friend in a different targeting mode. So as you see, I'm just going to find some random person. I always have someone playing GTA. They don't need to know that you're even joining them. Um, it's just some random person. If you're on PlayStation and you don't have anyone to join, guys, you can do it through Cruise, ING, they all play in uh, assistant name. If you're in Xbox and you need someone, just leave a, your GT down in the comments saying, you know, I need someone in a different targeting mode, and that way you guys can play off each other. So what I did was I joined someone in a different targeting mode, I accepted the first alert, and I declined the second, which then spawns me back on the map where the job is. So now I'm going to run over to my arcade, guys. I'm going to get glitched out. And I'm going to show you how we can duplicate this car fast and easy. For anyone that is doing this glitch and you find that you have no more room in your garages, guys, just use your second character. Put all your money in one bank account, use your second character, buy yourself the arcade and the bunker and the MOC. And obviously the car you're going to duplicate over. And you can dupe enough cars on both characters that you'll make all your money back. How do I know? Well, that's how I have over $400 million dollars. On the fast farm card dupes, I will just jump on my second character and do the same thing. So I already have a second character with things bought. You got to spend money to make money. So what you need to do, guys, is you need to open up the door going into your basement of your arcade right here. Because you won't be able to do that once you're glitched out. We're going to go back downstairs and I'm going to go to my jukebox. So you go downstairs right here by the bar. To the right is my jukebox. You're going to need to have a couple dollars in your pocket. You're going to hit right on the D-pad. 
And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you that my classic rock is grayed out. If yours isn't, just select a different uh, radio station or jukebox, I should say, and then go back to classic rock so it's grayed out. Once it's grayed out, you're just going to back out of this menu, guys. And then we are going to join a friend in a different targeting mode. So all you do is hit your Xbox or PlayStation button. We're going to pull that up and we're going to accept the first alert and decline the second. So same thing that we always do with any part of the glitch. So as you see, I'm just going to pick some random person on my friends list or through the crew tab if you're on PlayStation. And we're going to join someone in a different targeting mode. They don't know we're joining them, guys. As you see, this guy's in a party with like five other people. And I'm going to accept the first alert and I'm going to decline the second alert. So when it comes up saying they're in a different targeting mode, you're just going to back out of that. What you want to do now is you want to open up your jukebox one more time. So you're going to hit right on the D-pad. Give it a second. It's going to pop up on the screen. And what you're going to do from here is you're going to hit pause. And you're going to open up your Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. So you're going to go online, Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. You're going to open it up. You're going to back out. And then you're going to go to Jobs, Play Jobs, Rockstar Create It. And you're going to go down to Missions. And you're going to start up Titan of a Job. It's going to come up saying invalid, which means you're now glitched out and you should be frozen. So you're going to hit pause, you're going to go to online, and you're going to open up purchase shark cards. As soon as it opens up, guys, you're going to back instantly out of it, and now you are glitched out. You're going to have the jukebox menu. Do not try to run because you don't want to select anything, and you're going to walk your way down to the basement. If you go into first person mode, you can run a little faster. To me, it is what it is. I don't like first person mode. I find it kind of glitches me out, and you know, if you're not used to it. Okay, so I'm going to work my way down to my arcade, guys, and I'm going to jump into my RH8, which I'm going to duplicate over, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, if you're new to the channel, guys, and you got this far, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications to stay up to date with actually working GTA 5 glitches. That's kind of hard sometimes to find someone that actually posts working glitches. So what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to walk over to your car that you're going to duplicate over. I only have one here because I only want to dupe the one for you guys. I'm kind of retired when it comes to these kind of glitches. I'm going to jump in it, and then once I'm sitting in it, guys, I'm going to select a radio station. You've seen that I literally spawned outside. Once you do that, you're just going to hit gas, and it's going to kick you out of the car, and it's going to put you outside on foot. So, again, you're going to select the radio station, guys, which you'll transport out of the car, and then just hit gas, and you spawn outside. Now, we need to go back to our... Uh, bunker. So what you need to do is you need to fast travel again. So I'm going to hit pause, go to map. I'm going to start up a random job close to my bunker like we did last time. And as soon as I load into this, guys, again, you can host it if you want, if there's no active jobs going. Uh, once I get in, guys, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to join someone in a different targeting mode. I'm going to accept the first alert and I'm going to decline the second, which is going to spawn me right at that job, which is going to be nice and close to my bunker. So as you see here, I'll just scroll down. I'm going to join the same guy again because Obviously, I know he's in a different targeting mode, except the first, decline the second, boom, here I am. If you've done all these steps like I just told you guys, A, you're glitched out, B, your car is going to be sitting in the same spot because we did not call in any vehicle, and C, we're going to make $1.7 million by duping the car I'm going to duplicate. So to me, it sounds like a good day. So as you see here, I'm going to run over to my bunker, I'm going to go inside, now the only thing we need left to do is save the duplicate. So the plate's going to change. I'm going to show you how to save it. And then sometimes people get stuck inside the bunker. If that's the case, guys, all you need to do is jump in your MOC, drive it outside, or hit the pause menu and fast travel from your bunker to a different job, whatever the case may be. So as you see here, guys, I'm going to run over. You'll see my plate is whatever numbers it is. I can't really see on my screen. Three, four, nine. As soon as I jump in, the plate changes, which now means this is a clean dupe. I'm going to drive over. I'm going to hit right on the D-pad to save it. It's going to tell me that it's full. Set the first alert, and it's going to stick you inside. Just like that, guys, my car is now duplicated. $1.7 million for me. So my original is here, my duplicate is in my arcade, and you can continue over and over again. If you fill up your arcade, guys, just go over there and move them to a different garage, and just keep duping and duping and duping until you're done. Now, as you see, I can drive this out. Some people get stuck inside. If you do, jump in your MOC, drive that outside, or fast travel out if that's what you want to do. Either way will work. I haven't been stuck inside yet. So as you see, here it is, guys. It is a working glitch. That's how I have over $420 million, as you see right there. I really do appreciate you checking me out. And until next time, we'll definitely catch you on the next one. Make sure you smash that like button, turn on post notifications, 
and definitely leave a comment down below guys. Thanks a lot, have a good one, and catch you later.